All right, so the discussion of the endocrine system begins in the diencephalon at the area known as the hypothalamus. Not easy to see on this model, but approximately there. The hypothalamus connects to the pituitary, which brings us here to the supersized pituitary. So there are sections to it. Right? It has a capsule that covers it, that's the outer covering. It has a stalk, that's the infundibulum. It has two main sections known as posterior pituitary and anterior pituitary. The anterior is broken into sections. Most of it is known as the pars distalis, pars tuberalis, and pars, these little dark brown spots, pars intermediate. This produces a whole bunch of different secretions and then secretes them into the blood. This stores two secretions that come from the hypothalamus, oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. This has growth hormone, adrenal corticotropic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone. From the intermedia, you get um, um, melanostimulating hormone for the melanocyte. So a whole bunch of stuff comes out of the anterior. Moving down to thyroid, thyroid, anterior thyroid view posterior thyroid view. Thyroid gland has two lobes, right and left, connected by the isthmus. Secretes calcitonin, T3, and T4. Posterior, one, two, three, four, maybe even a fifth parathyroid gland, parathyroid hormone. Sliding down, pancreas, adrenals, pancreas, adrenal. This is just the endocrine part of the pancreas. This has the alpha cells, the beta cells. This is known as the pancreatic islet or islet of Langerhans. We said that the yellow ones are the beta producing insulin and the pink ones are the alpha producing glucagon and that's embedded in the pancreas. Adrenal has a capsule covering the yellow area, the outer area, that's the cortex. The inner area is, the white area is the medulla. The medulla produces epinephrine, norepinephrine, sympathetic fight or flight. And then the outer has multiple layers to it, zones with multiple secretions. Aldosterone, cortisol, androgen, those are different ones that come out of the cortex. Moving down, these are not necessarily glands, but structures that secrete hormones. We have ovary, ovaries, testes, testy, testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. 